Hello guys, here's another tutorial from Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorialscom and today we're going to be looking at um, sketch mirroring. So this can save you some time if you're drawing something on one side of a sketch and you need an exact copy of it on the other side. So what I've actually got here um, is a sketch of a square as you can see and I already extruded that out into cube and you'll see I extruded on either side of the plane there's a reason for that which we'll see later on so we came out 30 on each side and I've got my plane in here in the middle okay so we'll hide that body for the moment and we'll go back and edit the sketch so first things first we are going to find the center point here along our top now yeah. so this would be our center line here and we'll come down by 5 and we turn this into a construction line and then come from there to the bottom and we also turn this into a construction line we we'll drag that off to the side okay so now I'm going to draw a profile on this side that I won't replicate on the other side. We'll start from here. We'll come back at an angle. Let's say uh, it's good, 135 degrees and 15 millimeters. So we have proper constraints to our sketch. Always useful and important for want to edit things later. Come down here by 20 and it will create a curve let's create a three-point arc so we'll go from here type to this point here and we'll arc it back that way like so okay so this is not properly constrained didn't type in any elements there so let's uh, let's create that again so we do things properly Go from here to here so that's a 17.879 to that point that length and we lock it to this point and we'll curve it back this way like so okay so now it's properly constrained you can see it's all in black all right so that's our profile now I want this same profile on the other side do want to have to draw it all again very easy thing we can do pull down shift select those three lines create mirror we've already selected our objects the mirror line will be our center construction line and voila we are done we've now mirrored it across to the other side now we can always go back in and we can edit this sketch let's say we want to edit this here I want to move that point I don't want it to be connected to there anymore delete the coincident go in and select this point let's see I can move things around okay that's moving our center point around that's not really what we want to do here okay so we'll go back on that we'll create this arc again but rather than anchoring it to that center point we're going to anchor it somewhere else so We'll uh, go to our arc, three point arc. We'll make it 14. Go until it snaps. Drawing edge there. Let's make it 15. So it's long enough. There we go. 
and we'll curve that back. Okay, now you can see though our mirror command is now a bit screwed up. So we can delete this and we can mirror this piece again across to the other side. Center line and mirror. Finished sketch. There we have it. Okay, so now we have our profile that we want to extrude out. So we'll show our body again and um, we'll go to select, selection filters, and uh, sketch profiles. Turn off select all, sketch profiles only. Select that. Two sides again. Um, there we go, two sides. So remember, I said there's a reason why I extruded the cube out from the center plane in the two directions, and that's so that we can just do the same this way. And the cube came out 30 in each direction, so if I bring this 20 in each direction, we'll have a 10 millimeter thick wall. Uh, and uh, cut. And now it will have cut out that profile inside of our body. See? If we turn on our section analysis, you'll see that shape has been cut through. Okay, so there we have it. That's how you can use the um, mirror tools in Sketch to uh, speed up things when you want to copy um, uh, or mirror um, a profile that you've drawn to the other side. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and head on over to um, fusion360tutorials.com for more information and uh, more free video tutorials on how to become familiar with Fusion 360. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.